Okay, so today's book talk is talking about one of my all-time favorite authors, John Green. He is one of three authors on this uh, book, and this is one of my few books that I read every single year. I definitely read this around every Christmas time. It's a real, uh, it's a happy read, it's a light read, and it's a fun read. Um, and and uh, I, so I highly recommend you do, or if you want to have Christmas in July right now and cozy up on the couch with a good read, I recommend this. I'm talking about Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Now this book is actually three short stories, one written by each of the author, and they're interwoven between each other where they take place in the same town and they have some of the same characters. A minor character in one short story might show up as a major character in the next. The first short story is a story about uh, a young girl whose parents are obsessive collectors of these Christmas villages. And they actually get arrested at the release of a new uh, piece to the Christmas village. And so she's forced to get on a train and go visit a different family member, stay with a different family member while her parents are, are dealing with being in jail. Um, but the train gets stuck in the snow and she gets stuck in this small town. Um, and uh, she ends up at a Waffle House with a famous musician who's sort of trying to escape their life. Okay, The uh, second story is a story about these uh, three friends, two guys and a girl who are best friends, hanging out at their house playing video games, when they get a call from the, um, the manager of a Waffle House, who's their friend, who says, hey, there's this train stuck, and a whole group of cheerleaders just came, got off the train and came here. You, you guys have to get here. And so he's trying to get his, his guy friends to come and try and pick up these girls. But they are... Uh, uh, unbeknownst to them, there may be a romance already blossoming somewhere in all this. And then the third story is about a, a pair of friends, one of whom is desperate to get her hands on a teacup piglet, and she puts it on her friend to pick up the pig for her, but her friend's a little bit selfish. These three stories are funny, they're charming, they're witty, there's romance, there's friendship, all kinds of great stuff. I highly recommend it. Um, it has uh, been adapted to a Netflix show, and I was lucky enough when it was adapted to a Netflix show to get to go to uh, a special screening of it at the uh, North Texas Teen Book Festival and Alamo Draft House in Las Colinas and uh, get a copy of the book uh, autographed by all the, uh, let's see, it's not on that page, autographed by all the authors. Is it on that page? I don't know. It's somewhere in here. Maybe I got it. There we go. Autographed by all the authors. Um, this was my original copy and I got that autographed by a couple of the authors too. So I'm so uh, thankful for that. And if you haven't checked out Let It Snow, either the book or watched the Netflix show, I really recommend that you do. And uh, my dog agrees. <laughs>